Hi guys, it's Kelly from the Love Elijah Project. Um, last week we talked about self-love. And this week um, the topic of the blog is going to be thankfulness. So, um, as we mentioned last week, it's not always easy to love ourselves uh, after losing a child. It comes with a lot of rage, a lot of anger, and a lot of uh, guilt. And it's they're all very hard emotions to battle through. I talked about having to go to a counselor to be able to live some of these feelings. Um, but of course, you know, it's something that I'm still battling with. Um, I do feel a lot lighter. I did give a lot of it to God and ask him to carry it for me. And I did, got, did get a lot of help from a counselor too. But there are days like today, which is another anniversary um, for us, another monthly anniversary next year, Sorry, next month will be a yearly anniversary um, of losing Elijah. So there are still days where I battle with that. Um, there are still moments where, you know, I'll see um, a mother with her baby and want nothing more than to be happy for that mother and that child and still feel angry in my heart that I don't have my child with me. Um, so please know that when I speak of these positive things, they come from a genuine place and it's not um, me thinking that it's easy to do. It's just that I care about you and I care about um, my healing and I, I want you to care about your healing and take those steps forward too. So today when we talk about being thankful, obviously we're not thankful for losing our children. Um, but what I want you to focus on is being thankful for the time that you did get with your child or the time that you carry your child in the womb um, for that blessing alone. Uh, recently, I've had a couple of friends contact me about their miscarriages. And it was hard to say, but the first thing I did for them was to congratulate them on the pregnancies. Um, of course, I know it hurt to lose the pregnancies, but they did happen and I think it's important to congratulate them on the time they did get to spend with their child. Of course that congratulations was followed with my deepest empathy and sympathy for them um, and anything I can do to help at that point with comforting words. But I think it's important to focus on the good, um, the love and the happiness that you did share with your child even if it was just for a moment. So. Gratitude is going to be different now, obviously. Um, before I lost Elijah, I was doing a lot of reading on the power of positivity and the power of gratitude and how focusing on the good can change your outlook on life. And, and it, that still holds the same. You can still be thankful. It won't change your grief and it won't change you missing your child, but it will help you in other areas of your life. Um, which ultimately help you move forward. So um, today, as I walk, as I uh, you know deal with my daily routines and deal with my other children, I I choose to be thankful. It's going back to that I get to versus I have to. So I get to get out of bed this morning, and I'm thankful for another day um, with my husband, with my other children in this beautiful world that we live in. Um, of course it hurts because Elijah's not here with me in this world, but I'm still thankful for the moments that I got to share with him and um, I, I will be forever until I get to hold him again. And that's another thing that you can be thankful for is that you will see your child again. So continue to think about ways you can be thankful and and that I get to versus I have to is a small step that you can take to get there. Um, so I get to wake up this morning. I get to get out of bed. I get to go for a walk. I get to go to work. I get to um, do <laughs> household, household chores. I get to have this moment and I get to live my life. And not only do I get to live my life for me, I get to live my life for my child and make him or her proud. Um, so think of it that way. Think of it as 
a gift to your child. That's what your gratitude is now. Uh, it's, it's not only a gift to yourself, but it's a gift to your child because they're not here and you are now living a life as kind of their ambassador. You're, you're making a difference for them and you're carrying your love forward and sharing it with other people. Um, and I think that's really powerful. I think that a lot of people, you know, see the bitter and ugly side of uh, losing a child because that tends to hit very hard in the beginning. But I have seen so many parents do beautiful things in the memory of their children. And the love that we have has the power to change the world. And that alone is something to be thankful for. So be thankful for that love. Hang in there. Um, you're going to have hard days. I'm having one too. And I just, I'll pray for you if you pray for me. Um, sending positive thoughts, positive vibes, whatever your, you know, your go-to feelings are. Um, just remember to be thankful. Be thankful for every moment you shared with your child. Um, and and keep paying it forward. Pay that love forward and change the world. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks.